Meteorologist Dave Aguilera covering Colorado weather first. Dave, we did have that storm you were talking about. It seemed uh, east of Castle Rock or the Springs earlier. Yeah, uh, down there in uh, Fountain, they uh, had one to two inches of rain in a very short period of time. Right along I-25, they had some flooding going on down there. Just wish we could spread that up to the fire areas. Uh, so some of us got uh, some rain. Most of us did not, as uh, did uh, Denver. A lot of haze here. We had a few sprinkles and some wind earlier in the afternoon, but still another hot day for us. We made it to 93 degrees out at DIA today, 90 in Greeley, 95 in Fort Collins. Boulder had a little cloud cover, a little more in the way of uh, thunderstorms trying to develop this afternoon, so they only made it to 84 degrees, a little more comfortable there, and Grand Junction was at 100 degrees today. Here's the satellite and radar. Let's take it full, and I'll show you what has happened as far as storm action goes today, and we've had isolated thunderstorms here and there. Really promising in the last few uh, echo returns from the radar out west. Uh, you see from Meeker to just north of that Grizzly Creek fire, there's a little blob of moisture coming through there. And so they may uh, deliver a little bit of rain for the Grizzly Creek fire too far away for the Pine Gulch over by Grand Junction. And now we're seeing a few showers come off the Continental Divide that may move into uh, Williams Fork and Cameron Peak. So let's hope those in here. Uh, not a lot of rain. The, the lot of rain was down there in Colorado Springs to just south of Lyman. Look at those thunderstorms. A lot of lightning down there and a lot of rainfall from Lyman down to Carville right now. Earlier, we had a flash flood warning uh, from about Fountain to Security. That uh, flood threat has subsided, but they saw a lot of rainfall down there. So tonight, showers and thunderstorms over the eastern plains. Some of them heavy rain, some small hail still possible out there. For Denver, we still have a slight chance, but our chances are dwindling as we get closer and closer to sunset tonight. Tomorrow morning, we will clear out nicely, and then tomorrow afternoon, there's a little moisture left over for a few spotty showers with thunderstorms to try to get going. But overall, it's a drying pattern for us as we get into Friday and the weekend, unfortunately. So our chances go down once we get to Saturday and Sunday. Hot again tomorrow. A lot of 90s down low, 70s and 80s up there in the mountains. And we do have poor air quality tonight into tomorrow. That's going to linger all the way through the weekend, I think. So isolated storms possible tonight, otherwise partly cloudy. 65 in the city. A hazy, hot day tomorrow with areas of smoke about 99 downtown, 97 at DIA, and we keep the upper 90s rolling through the weekend. In fact, I took out any showers or thunderstorms for either Saturday and Sunday. Just smoky skies going on. Small chance on Monday and Tuesday. Jim, I do want to encourage everybody to tune in at 10 o'clock tonight. In a plus four more forecast, we might have some promising weather news to talk about. So I'll see you tonight. Good, Dave. I'll probably tune in. Uh, I think you'll be around. Okay. <laughs> okay. For now, another scorching week ahead. Yeah. Jeez. We'll check out our top stories coming.